Alright, I'm back. As you can see, I got ten of those pretty stones. Which, honestly, didn't take as long as I was thinking. But... However, there's a few things I want to do before I continue on. Because in the second area, you can get some stuff. In order to get said stuff, I need to... Grab this. Otherwise, getting it's a pain in the rear. And just carry it over here. Get on it. There we go. And open this little box. Accessory. These things are really good. You can usually carry about three of them. Um, oh, there we go. No, you can carry only two of them right now. This one increases your defense up by one. That doesn't sound very good, but trust me, one defense can mean a whole lot in this game. Especially on proud mode. And I believe this is, yeah, this is where I found the mushroom. Okay. I believe there was something over here. see anything, so I guess that's probably it. Unless it's, uh, unless the item I'm looking for is under one of the crates. They may have removed it for this version. If so, then I'm not gonna really bother with it. We're almost done with Destiny Islands, thank goodness. You can only handle so much of the islands before it just gets redundant. Nothing in there. Okay, this is the extended scene I was talking about when you see her messing around with her stuff. Oh, this. This is this is what sailors would usually use to aid, or what women would make for sailors on the, to aid them on their journeys. And in Final Mix, you see that she's actually making a star-shaped chain. If you played the original Kingdom Hearts, you would know this for later, but I'm not going to spoil it. Just remember that. I don't really know what she's saying. Something about, about the three of them will be one, I don't know. Since not many people really feel like translating that part. They say it's not really important though. And now for yet another cutscene.
Meanwhile... It, don't worry about any of this. Um, I'll explain it later. And back to our everyday program. I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. The storm? Uh, 
Wait, these kids have actually have parents? What the heck? Hey, what happened to, what happened to the Cherry Island music? This doesn't sound cheery at all. Those things from before. Time to destroy them. What the? My weapon doesn't affect them. Oh snap. Uh, well. I'm boned. What the? There's some sort of door here. Yeah, he says he can't get through. Well, nuts. What's going on here? There's Riku. Let's ask him what's going on. Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We've got to find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. sword has turned into a giant iron key. I'll just let that sink in for a second. Honestly though, this thing's actually probably with the better weapons in the game. So, it can, it can look as stupid as it wants, but if it works, tag with it. I've never really cared about looks anyway. If a weapon is effective, it, it, it can look like a toothpick. I don't care. And these enemies um, drop potions, actually. Which is actually pretty effective, so try to stock up on the island, since they're like never ending virtually. And when they do stop, you can just go in and out of the house, safe house, and they'll respawn. It's pretty helpful if you don't abuse EXP with Titus as well, because, um, well, it just is, since they give you one EXP and they're constantly respawning. Titus is technically faster though, and, and more convenient. I'll be doing this for about a minute or two, just to see if I can get a few more potions. I'm not going to do it a whole lot, though. I love stun impact in this game. to its completion, and then move on to the next area. I'm not going to be doing that this time around, because the bosses in this game are pretty tough if you fight them right when they're valuable. 
mean, you can still do it, but you have to be a little better than you are usually. So instead, I'm going to collect everything in the world, get up until the point where I fight the boss, and um, move on to the next world, get everything in that world, and so on, until I'm forced to beat the world to continue the plot. Not the, mo not the most heroic way to beat the game, but hey, I don't give a crap. But then again, if you have, if you never played proud mode, you don't understand just what kind of cruelty you go through in this game. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm not getting any potions, so... And I will get a chance later on to get more, so... Let's see... Got my pretty stones... Get out another potion... Yeah, I have three potions and a high potion. You might notice I'm not getting any money. Or monies, as they call it. That's okay. You know what? I'm gonna just stop the video now. Because I have a lot of stuff to do in this next video. So, goodbye everyone.